Here we go. Oh, the opening's into the trailer. So high. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. I would like to buy it. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. You let's know. go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know... Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's touched a remarkably where? sturdy exactly. man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Right. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Where is he? Like... <clears throat> Where the hell is he going? Additional reads.
The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. I guess he's staying back so I could run into this Silas guy, we could fight, and then he could show up in the middle to like save the day kind of bullshit. Is this gonna be cliche storyline time? So far the game's doing pretty good at not being too cliche. And we're saving. And we are saving. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. As it's painful to be the last one left. I you don't know how confused. right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then, just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion.
Interesting. Oh, now you show up, huh? Then a hundred yes. years later... Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Very observant, officer. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Mm hmm. Who left this light on? Like we didn't even clean the last supper of the Hawkins. What does oh. this tell me? Hold it down long enough. What kind of meat is this? What is with This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The 
boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Who? See, I wouldn't want to have dinner like this. That's just miserable. There's your first mistake, folks. Hundred years and shit ain't changed, you know? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it's already too late for the Hawkins. Too much rubble. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? He looks really happy here. Charles and Sarah's wedding was painted by Sarah herself. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? You would know. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Did someone escape the fire? Not gonna let me... Ow, okay. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Desperate attempt to flee.
So, detective, what do you make of it? <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. Excellent observation. Really? The detective dude. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. So now the question is, is which one of them survived the fire? Are we going to see a burnt Mr. Hawkins or a burnt Mrs. Hawkins? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Dick, Melville's classic, the epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music.
There's something disturbing about this painting. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. There's something disturbing about this painting. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. This door is blocked from the outside. This door is locked. That's where we started. Original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Oh, hold on, why would they just randomly give me? Controlled over one light and not all of them. I don't know if I just heard a noise or not. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. Dr. Fuller.
locked. Boys' room. Yep. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? And absolutely nothing? I take it. Perfect. So who's played Shadows of Evil? Hmm. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Made really good money. Like, I mean, add two zeros to every single one of those numbers you need to have today's figures compared to how life was back then, especially going into uh, the Great Depression. She made good money. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. We'll find his ass later, don't worry. I'm proud of you. You're not like shaking or hallucinating yet. Them DTs, man. Ain't. Looks like a monster from Scooby Doo, man. Like, straight up. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Maximilian. It's a cool name. What are we 
done with this room? No, we are not. Bradley? Is that you? Um. Boys' room, her office. Is anyone there? You. Stop. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. You obviously didn't go that way, huh? I'll cover you. Oh, okay, that's what light source is. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Seems like this came from a log. Looks like the navigational really path described in the here? log. I Looks like the navigational path don't see any way out. described in the log. Not what I wanted. I want this is. Oh, right on. You can wait. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. And the third fellow. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. 
Yep. Looks like it worked. It only made sense. That's why I chose it. Well I done, like, If that didn't work, I was going to try to find this place in Boston. But, obviously, my guess was right. 